up. What the hell did you just build? Hellcat powered Miata. Why? Why not? <laughs> Think about it. I'm nervous. Miata B. Just tried doing a test pull on the car, and Jack tried fourth, fifth, sixth, and even in the sixth gear. Who think he goes seventh? <laughs> it needs a seventh gear. But apparently, it's spinning on the dyno. We think smoke come off the back, and uh, so we're. Gonna have to do something. Might have to put some guys in the back. Here we go. Sadly, we had some altercations on the dyno. For one, he was in sixth gear, the tires were still spinning on the dyno, and for two, his PCM is currently locked right now, so they can't hook it up to HP tuners, and it just looks like they're gonna have to come back another day, and as far as the horsepower numbers go in the Hellcat Miata, they're gonna remain a secret until next time he comes. Let's go talk about the car. Guys, so as you just saw, I have a Hellcat Miata staring right into my soul. And we have the owner right here. Car man, what is going on? Up, this dude? is actually the first time meeting together, huh? Absolutely. We've yeah. talked a lot on the phone. We've like texted back and forth, but this is the actual You're the Miata guy. I'm the Mi I mean, I think you might be the Miata yeah. guy now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But anyways, man, I mean, tell us about this. First off, it's a Dodge Motor Hellcat 707 horsepower. That's stock. Yeah, stock. Which is terrifying. It has the Hellcat transmission as well. Yeah, it's Hellcat, yeah. Yeah, we have full suspension on the car. What kind of suspension? Uh, V8 Roadsters, actually. Oh, really? No shit. Yeah, That's the upper, sick. Upper and lowers. Oh, you got oh, the AEM digital dash. Yeah, we got the five. I don't know if you got the seven. Yeah, I did get the seven. Uh, I, I didn't think it was gonna fit, so that's why I got the five. Yeah, it, it was actually a little trouble fitting it. I have to see that. But I'm gonna have to see that. Yeah, it's actually right there. <laughs> I yeah, drove it over. Cool, yeah. <laughs> then we got the Terminator diff, the Ford 8.8. .8. Let's see, like. Oh wow. That's nice, and you got that V8 Roadster, like that um, subframe mount? Uh-huh. That's sweet. It was really easy to insta install, really Yeah, easy. mine was easy as well. I got the um, Pontiac Solsa stiff in mine, mm -hmm. and it actually wasn't bad at all. What kind of tires you got on this? This looks like race slicks, dude. Yeah, they are. What's they're going on like here? Road course tires, like a 275, 35. Okay. And um, I just want to get something that had some meat, and they really don't make mini tire sizes that'll work, you know, size-wise, because these are 10 wide, 15 by 10s. 15 by 10, you're fitting a 15 by 10 on the Miata, that's Some sick. put 12s on the Miata, it's really well, <laughs> I mean, honestly, dude, I to do the flares or something from now. the sound of the horsepower that, obviously, this is probably making, you're going to need 12s, 100%. Yeah, I think so. So, and like, you may have to cut this and go to, you know, could go to flares or something so we can put, like, some drag slicks or else we're never going to get any. Yeah, no, of course. Walk me through, like, driving this thing. Like, what is that all about? That must be chaos. Yeah, it's 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 uh it's pretty wild. Uh, you'll see later. You'll <laughs> oh see man, later. I'm I'm a little nervous. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, I was I was walking around the car and I noticed that you had some um some tire glued to your bumper. Do you want to yeah, explain this, that? We went to Cletus and Cars the okay. other day. We took the car down there and uh, Cletus drove it. Tires are gonna pop or the motor's gonna pop. <laughs>
and uh, I played around with it a little bit, and then he drove it, and I mean, that's, you know, that's some of the stuff that's left over from the little, like, tiny 15-inch Walmart. Jeez, tires. dude, and it's like, this is thick. Like, I'm even, like, trying to grab it, and I literally can't get it off. Like, look at all of that. Yeah. But before we get any farther, Car has a YouTube channel. Car built this car in, what, two months? Yeah, me and Mike did. Which is insane because I remember talking to you when you were on your way to Colorado mm -hmm. and you told me that like, yeah, I'm building a Hellcat me and I'm like, okay, dude, like yeah. two months, like whatever. Yeah. And then like I'm starting to watch the YouTube videos. I'm like, wow, this thing's coming along pretty quickly. And then the, you made it to Cletus and Cars. I saw the burnout. I'm like, this motherfucker. Yeah. This wild. guy right yeah, here. Yeah, that's wild, man. And uh, it, was, it was definitely a, a big rush. Yeah. And so whenever we go to paint the car and stuff, we're going to redo some things. But, I mean, it works. It runs. and. It I works. mean, honestly, dude, for, like, the amount of time that you have into this car, it looks great. Thanks, and, man. like, it's Thanks, it's man. already driving. It's already doing crazy burnouts. It, it it's it's well, impressive, dude. It. It's impressive. Because like it he's all about American cars. I saw that big smile it. on his face when he was he, raising he his hand. He liked it. He really did. It, yeah, so it's, it's an awesome car, but you'll get to check it out later. Yeah, know? I'm excited for that. Yeah. So, I mean, how did you even fit this thing? Like, really? Like, um, I see that this is like bent up a little. Yeah, like, we had to bend this up because it wouldn't clear the coil packs. And, um, but we got a from V8 Roadsters again, they make a, a custom cross member that has no mounts on it. Okay. It's bare metal. And uh, so we were. Oh, so pretty much you make your own mounts. Yeah, from so it. we built our own mounts off of it. And so uh, that, that worked out really well because, you know, the stock uh, cross member is really bulky. Yeah. Really bulky. This thing is just we got insane. Some Schwartz performance to give us a little bit more room. They're billet, and uh, it's a pretty, pretty cool product. I was happy to get those. And uh, this is from a company here in Florida named Four. Okay. That fuel pressure regulator. They cater to a lot of Hellcat stuff. Oh, really? But then, are you guys showing the intake? This is, yeah, <laughs> this is real carbon fiber? Yeah. That's and sick. So if you'll notice, this kind of looks like a leg. So imagine a person's leg and this being the knee. <laughs> oh, it does. Yeah. This is the thigh, the knee, and it goes right. down. Yeah, and so the guy that makes this used to build prosthetics. And, oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. And so it's called the leg maker. And that's the leg brand. maker. Yeah. I love it's it. really cool. That is so funny. Yeah, really you show them the exhaust? <laughs> There's an exhaust there? <laughs> There's an exhaust there, which obviously you guys heard it because you guys saw it come off the trailer, but like the video doesn't do it justice. I, th I think that covers it, man. You got a Hellcat in an NB Miata, and almost, I'm sure it's terrifying. Did it in a, but I kind of felt like uh, the NB would fit this motor because you know, with Dodge, it's a little bit more round and stuff. So, uh -huh. I, mean, much, I don't know. It's I feel like this bot, this chassis is a little bit bigger too. Yeah, maybe. Like, even inside, like I've had an NB and an NA, I feel like I had more room in my NB yeah. rather than an NA. Yeah, so it, it worked out, but I, I might have had some like you know, hardcore purists mad at me or something. Oh, it's okay, you know, dude. <laughs> It's, it's not like it's an FD or anything yeah. like that because people get crazy when you swap from like a rotary to like an LS or something. Mm -hmm. But I mean, you can't hate on this, dude. Hellcat Miata, like who's doing it? Yeah. You, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> it's a wild one, that's for sure. Okay, before we cut this clip, I just have one more question. How did you fit that transmission? Oh, we cut everything out. You cut everything out? Yeah. Yeah, I actually put a picture on my Instagram the other day, but we, we cut it all out. And uh, that and I tell you what, for anybody that's looking to do a crazy motor swap in a car, the best advice I would have is you could try and fit the motor one time. And once you fit the motor one time and it doesn't fit, you're better off just go ahead and cutting the firewall out and cutting the whole transmission tunnel out right at the beginning because we didn't do that. And we were trying to do a little bit here, a little bit there to make it work. Just cut it all. It's so much time. It would have been better to just cut it all out and start fresh and new. Yeah. And they even make, um, they make uh, trans tunnel kits that you can buy. And uh, that would be, that it'll save you a lot of time if you ever do a crazy spot. <laughs> Roberto, you ready for a ride of your life? Uh, if I ride on my life, you mean like, Spin City. Car, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to Mexico right now. I'm going to film uh, Jack doing the pole. Ouch. Seems like Jack's the designated driver for this thing, huh? I'm getting used to it. You're liking it. I'm going to be honest. I, I feel like I'm going to get the best pole because you've been driving it now. I have daily this. You'll daily it? Yeah. Hell yeah. Look, look at the engine. That's all I can see. <laughs> Here we go. Don't know what to expect other than it's a Hellcat Miata, so expect the worst. Alright, you ready? Oh, I was born ready, Jack. Let's do this, Let's do this together. Here we go. Oh, I was scared. I was like, this dude's not going in the four 
fourth right now. He went in the fourth. Fuck you. Woo! I have goosebumps. I actually <laughs> have goosebumps right now. Wow. So guys, Jack just took me for a ride. Let me tell you, I have goosebumps right now. And Clara just said I can drive this thing. I can. I was pretty excited to drive it, and don't get me wrong, I still am going to drive it, but after Jack taking me for that ride, we're not getting in the fourth. I just want a baby little, just to say I drove a Hellcat Miata, because this is the Race from Miata channel. It's only right that we drive this Hellcat Miata, but we're not going to abuse it. Well, maybe just a tiny bit. The, the secret is to short shift it, because you're yeah. going to run right into the limiter. You'll smash that limiter. I'm just literally going to ease into it, like, That's slowly. That's not going to help. All it's gonna do is spin. You make me nervous. So no one trusts me to drive this thing, by the way. <laughs> car is car is shit in his pants. In no, the, no, in no. The seat right now. I mean, <laughs> maybe a, maybe a little. And th them being nervous is making me nervous. No, you'll be fine. You'll be fine. We'll just take it easy. Mm -hmm. Hey, remember, you only die once. You only die once. You ready, car? Yeah, man. You ready to die? No. <laughs> It's a wild machine, man. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. Rev it up, here's the supercharger. <laughs> now I will say the brakes get a little mushy under um, uh, under boost. So oh my like, God, yeah. the engine is so heavy. Yeah. Oh well, it's like no power steering either, but I mean, you're used to a very nimble car. This is terrifying already. <laughs> well, honestly, you know, with building this car and stuff, I really want you to drive it anyway, so I'm, I'm excited for you to drive it, man. Dude, not gonna lie, my heart's pounding out of my chest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're driving the hell down the yard. I know. <laughs> That's the torque that I was telling you about. Like, it's so torquey. Dude, it's insane. Yeah, you know how to do it. Nah, got that T56. It's one pull, and, I'm, and it's over for me. Are you ready? Yeah, man, ready let's to do it. together? Let's do it, dude. All right. Fuck me. guys I finally caught my breath let me tell you driving that thing was one hell of experience I want to thank you one more time yeah, and I cannot wait for you to come back I can't wait to actually see the real dyno number I'm sad that we didn't see it today man I, yeah. re I really am Jack tried as much as he could yeah <laughs> tires even tried six man and I was like but the computer's locked and so until we get that computer unlocked completely then we're gonna come back yeah and I'm excited for that but anyways guys I think I'm gonna end the video here like I said go down in the link below definitely give him a follow 
This this thing's crazy. Check out the build. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Want to subscribe for more? Subscribe for more, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.